just realized the little truth that I'm an atom within a group expanding with enlightened loop. My name is Albie Cork. Cork by name, Cork by nature. I'm an energy field major. Jesus is my navigator. I don't mind where I go. I'm a single individual soul, a part of a majestic whole, gently rising to the pinnacle of a beautiful creative being. And it's such a wonderful way to rise to gently gaze into the eyes of something that's not telling lies that's on that jumbly too. And when I reach this journey's end at the top of our pyramid stand, with the help of every other hand, I'll step outside that door. And once inside the next room, a speck of dust in a pharaoh's tomb, in the brightest light and direction loom, a whole new journey begins. And being a speck of dust is grand. In a million years, I'll be a grand ascend. In ten million more with nature's hand, I'll make a hefty stone. Eighty billion trillion ton lifted to the top of one of the highest pyramids begun. Hold on for a minute. Is that another door? My God, it is, and here I stand a pebble in a massive lake. It won't be long before I'm in the hand of something really beautiful. We all know what happens to even bright and beautiful creatures in soft moonlight. Each one a little star at night tinting across the heavens. Or maybe I'll be crushed into the bone of a gentle creature long since gone, the birth of a molecule sung within a greater being. I should the dust of that bone rise into the sweetest smile and eyes, and a tear that falls when no one cries, I'll land on your fingertip. And I will swim into your skin delighted in the submachine like a dolphin diving deep within your warm and beautiful blood. If you will pass me out. But after this, I have no doubt that you'll fish me up to a boat, one of many you call cell. And I will mix with all my pals, all those crazy little cells. And by the time I hear wedding bells, I bet you I'll be a sperm. All right, I'll be in a little lake, leaping into the softest shack, the cozy wall of a carpet bag, a room with a view. And I'll rest there for nine months or so until my mom says it's time to go. Then I'll check out this whole world show and let you know what I think. Who knows? Maybe I could become a poet. I'd have a lot to say, don't you know it? Within the wisdom of a timeless prophet, I'd have a word or two. And what if I was to write these words down to share them with the rest of town for us to make a wisdom crown that all of us could wear? Then we could help each other to the peak, hands together, strong and weak, designing feathers swift and sleek to fly into the light. Well done,